Hello, vinyl community. We have, we're down to the C's. And C is for cream. Wheels of Fire, 1968 live album, double album, with the great Eric Clapton, um, Ginger Baker on drums, and Jack Bruce on the bass. Very interesting album. I'll show you the middle of it. Very, very psychedelic, as you can see. Really, really nice artwork. Um, done by Stanis Stanislaw Zagorski. Uh, an arrangement with Robert Stigwood, Tom Dowd, Almond Brothers, uh, recording engineer, and Adrian Barber. Uh, did the live track. So there's two studio. Starting out with White Room, Sitting on Top of the World, the old uh, Alan Wolf tune, Passing the Time, a Ginger Baker composition, and as you said, both very psychedelic, the deep guts here. Second side, Pressed Rat and Warthog, Ginger doing his, his little recitation, as it says. Politician, great song, Get Into My Big Black Car, uh, Those Were the Days. Um, another ginger composition, Born Under a Bad Sign, the Albert King song, nice Clapton blues there in Deserted Cities of the Heart, another Jack Bruce and Pete Brown, uh, the poet, wrote the lyrics on that. Then, and the live at the Fillmore, um, actually only one cut was at the Fillmore, the other three were at Winterland in San Francisco, a uh, Fillmore West, that would be in 68 Crossroads, uh, Willie Dixon, Spoonful, uh, Train Time, which is, a uh, credited to John Group, interestingly, uh, and Toad, the Ginger Baker drum solo. So this is a, a tour de force. This was kind of their um, closing. They did a Goodbye Cream album after this, but that was really, I think, more to satisfy the record company. This was them at their height. Um, they were all doing, of course, a lot of substances and fighting a lot. Uh, the Legend of Cream and Clapton going from the Yardbirds to Cream to Blind Faith to Derek and the Dominoes to Solo as Legend, uh, you know, getting sober, the tragic loss of his son. I mean, Clapton's been through about nine lives. Uh, he loves the blues and he certainly lived uh, the travails of a bluesman, um, even the uh, at the time in between the Yardbirds and he started Cream, there was graffiti in London, Clapton as God. Uh, so he, you know, he, he, he went through a lot. You can see you got a nice hype sticker getting back to the album, Gold Record Award uh, from the RIAA. Uh, I got a couple of those. I have that on my uh, Crosby, Stills & Nash first album, also from 69. Just really nice uh, artwork. If you can see that, there's the Wheels of Fire. Uh, as I was uh, listening to this and thinking of Wheels of Fire, of course, um, Ironically, the same year, 1968, the band came out with music from Big Pink. And there's a song on there called Wheels. It's actually Wheels on Fire, not Wheels of Fire. But I suppose the Wheels of Fire were probably the band on tour, the band self-destructing. Who knows? Lots of things. But just wonderful, wonderful uh, compositions all throughout here. Just a, a, a great album. I'll show you the sleeves. I have the original. Um, it's on Atlantic. Uh, Amit Erdogan uh, scoring again. Um, Jerry Wexler, the, the genius is behind Atlantic, has the nice purple and yellow uh, ACO label there. And um, here's the sleeves with all the great Atco albums at the time, Vanilla Fudge and Buffalo Springfield and Tim Hardin, um, King Curtis, just uh, fantastic stuff. And you see that the artwork on these albums was just incredible. Um, really put a lot of time and effort into them. So Iron Butterfly, so, Wheels of Fire, uh, Clapton Live. So the first time I saw Eric Clapton, um, you know, post-Cream, post-Eric and the Dominoes, that was a little before my time, was um, 1989 on the Journeyman Tour. 
uh, which was amazing, out at Brendan Byrne. It, he was in the round, I believe, and his guitar was wireless. He had the blue Strat at that point. Um, that was really great. And the last time we saw him, I went with my son Dylan. We were at the garden. We were in the front row. We got tickets from um, 104.3, the classic rock station in town. And he played White Room. So uh, this is kind of a no-brainer. I mean, this is one of the heights of Clapton's uh, career with the, the Crossroads, White Room, uh, Born Under a Bad Sign, uh, the highlights from this and and the band all together as I said politician sitting on top of the world and spoonful the blues the drum solo it's got it's got it all um, highly recommend it um, on Atlantic if you can get it on vinyl it's it's a good one they should it's and for um, the studio album it is recorded extremely well probably a little better than the than the live because the live recording in those days um, was was limited. What else? Um, you know, Clapton on guitars um, and vocals. Um, Jack Bruce on vocals and bass and harmonica, and Ginger Baker on drums and vocals. They all share uh, vocal work on this. Uh, what else can I say about Wheels of Fire? Just a great, great album from a great, great band. I'll show you a couple of others. This was the. Um, first Cream album that came out um, 1967 so I have that one on vinyl that's pretty cool and a Best of Cream which really has uh, uh, a lot of the uh, Disraeli Gears because uh, the first album Fresh Cream, Disraeli Gears and Wheels of Fire were really uh, the, the bulk of this is a great shot of the band um, that's Jack Bruce uh, and then Ginger Baker in the middle and then Clapton on the right. You can see there's a mirror in the back with the paisley and the leather. Them looking very, they don't look too exorbitant. <laughs> they don't look wonderfully happy there, do they? <laughs> kind of, I don't know why they put veggies since this is Best of Cream and they put veggies on the cover. But I love this album. Um, I have a history of Eric Clapton. I have a lot of Eric Clapton. Uh, the Dominoes. Um, don't have a lot of the solo after the Dominoes. I have the Dominoes, so Layla, and then Live at the Fillmore, which is one of my favorites, um, which this shirt is taken from. That's uh, the cover of uh, one of the shots from the, the Jim Marshall probably took from the Live at the Fillmore. That was the Fillmore East, I believe. So that's um, C for Cream, one of my favorite bands of all time. I listened to them in the 60s to have them on cassette. I had a little cassette with, uh, I think it had a white room, it had Toad on it, I think it had Strange Brew and Swabbler on it. Uh, there were, it was a cassette with like four or six songs on it. Uh, great stuff. So we will see you, we're counting down. Uh, I have to do a B, I did do a Jeff Beck for B, but I'm gonna do another B for one of the most legendary bands in the world. We're in double albums now. We just posted a double with uh, Bob Dylan with Blonde on Blonde. We had a double for, um, for C for Cream. Um, so B is gonna be for one of the biggest uh, bands in the world, uh, named after uh, Buddy Holly and the Crickets. I guess people probably know that the transitions between the beat generation and the hippies. So have a great day. Um, we're going to leave it there for Cream. Uh, keep on spinning, Vinyl Community, and glad you could join me. Check out Wheels of Fire. You will not be disappointed. Keep on rocking. Talk to you soon.